All right. Okay. Today we are back with a very special BTS reaction video. Yeah. Uh, we have a reaction today that should have been done a while ago. Yeah, we've been waiting to get to this for a while now. Yeah, but Army has reminded us and uh, hounded us in the comments saying that we have not yet reacted to the amygdala music video yeah and jared we watched bits and pieces of sugar's final few days of tour yeah and realized just how important it was for us to get to this amygdala music video so that yes. we can loop back around and watch the entire uh -huh. concert day three in full coming very soon oh yeah so today we're going to be watching the music video for Amygdala. We're told that it has a lot of meaning packed yeah. up in there. Um, there are content warnings on this music video. So we want to make sure that you all are aware of that. You know, so if you do not feel comfortable watching this, you don't have to, everybody. Yeah. So we'll watch the music video. We'll check out the lyrics on Dual Set. Okay. We will then watch a jacket shoot sketch and then finish things off with a bookish theories explained or explanation video. Lego, I am ready to dive deep uh, and learn about everything that we missed the first time. Yes, sir. So Jared, let's just read a few comments real quick from some of our patrons. Um, and the first one comes from Kendra Patirkin. And Kendra writes, Anyong, Jared and Jordan. I hope I find you guys in the best of health and spirit. I'm so glad y'all had a blast at Augustine's concert. So did I with my daughter. Sugar and Jimin are her biases. And this concert was her late birthday gift, which was March 19th, a week after Yoongi's. Her first concert ever, and she got to see her favorite artist. Wow. That's a beautiful Wait, thing. how old is her daughter? Or she doesn't tell us. Yeah, I don't think she gave us her daughter's age. Wow. Yeah. So I'm she, thinking like some seven-year-old kid. <laughs> oh, I don't <laughs> just know. Just having a blast at Sugar's concert. Man, she got to see her favorite artist. Wow. Uh, Kendra continues, I'm glad I was able to do this for her. She's a great kid and works really hard in school. Mm. I definitely have lucked out or luck out when God blessed me with her and her sister. Wow. But going back to August D's album. If you haven't recorded Amygdala yet, please do so. The song is already a banger, but the music video takes it to a whole nother level. Mm. It's one of my daughter and I's favorite songs. Yes, it's sad and traumatic, but it's also very profound and heartfelt. Where Sugar, or August D, is at his most vulnerable state of being. Mm. The cinematography and visuals of that video makes you have goosebumps all over. Ah. It makes you think of your own personal experiences and trauma you've gone through, but not in a way that's hard to get past, but accepting that's what happened in my past and now I can talk about it and remember it without breaking down crying because it's always going to be a part of you and your journey in life, at least in my opinion. Sorry for rambling on and thank you so much for your voices and beautiful faces gracing us on screen every week. <laughs> Keep grinding and stay positive as always. Much love, Bora Hay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Kendra, for your insight. And that was not rambling on at all. That's exactly what we needed to hear. No, that was a beautiful and very powerful message that Kendra sent to us. Yeah. Uh, and Kendra, I'm sure many people have told you before, but just by reading your message, we mm. can tell that you are an incredible mother. 150%. Incredible man. mother. Kendra is rocking out with this motherhood thing. Yeah. We have one more comment. The next comment comes to us from Sarah Mist. Sarah writes, Yungi also released an MV for Amygdala. Please react to it. It's meant to be viewed as a trilogy of videos. Dejita, Hagem, and Amygdala. Now, this is something we've seen 
a lot of. Yeah. A lot of people wrote in and told us that we have to make sure that we understand what's really going on here. Yes. And that Amygdala is a part of a trilogy. Yes. With Deji Ta and Hagum, two songs we've already done deep dives into. Yeah. And I remember when we were watching Hagum, we felt that Deji Ta vibe. Oh, for sure. Right? Yeah. Um, but I would love to, you know, once we wrap up this Amygdala deep dive, maybe after we watch the entire day three of Sugar's concert in Seoul, yeah. for us to sit down and watch Deji Ta, Hagum, and Amygdala back to back. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Yes, sir. All right, Jared. Without further ado, this is August D. Amygdala official music video. Let's go. Here we go. Close, right? Oh. So many visuals. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He's crawling.
Oh. Was he trying to get through that door? I think so. And as you mentioned, it was open at one point, yeah, and he yeah. looked like he was just going to go right through it. And then it shut. And Jordan, I think what uh, Kendra said, right, her, from her message, she used the word goosebumps. Yeah. And there were several moments in this music video that caused immediate goosebumps, right? What, what moments were those for you? One of those moments is seeing Sugar crawling oh. his lifeless or, or helpless yeah. body, right? Almost like a state of paralysis on the ground, crawling in desperation, trying to make it to that door. Well, Jared, you say crawling. I, I may even say like a step past that because crawling, a lot of times you use your arms and your legs. Yeah. He looked like he was just using his arms ah. and his legs were lifeless like yeah. he couldn't move them. yes yeah that was a, a striking visual yeah. to see painful yeah painful to watch and i know we're gonna dissect it we're gonna read the lyrics again watch the bookish theories explanation video yeah but just the feeling of watching this for the very first time jordan i, I mean sugar i mean just it felt like he was trapped. Yeah. Yep. You know, trapped within his own trauma and sadness. And it was like a, a cycle that would never end, you know, where we saw moments of potential self harm. Yes. Right. We see the, yeah. we see the razor. Yeah. He had the razor to his face and he was shaking. We see the pills. We see the pills on multiple occasions. But then we see like, you know, him back on the couch. Yeah. You know, so it restarts. Yeah. And, and at first like, he was walking, the door closes, and then it restarts. Now he's crawling. Like it's just. And then the crash. The crash, yeah. Right. Didn't he get into an accident when he was a delivery driver and that's where he hurt his shoulder? Yes. So was that alluding to that moment in his life? Because we saw that crash multiple times. Yeah. Um, we know how much of an impact it's had on his life. Oh, yes. Jerry, you say there were moments of, of self-harm, right? Moments where we just saw him at his lowest. But there were also moments of complete hope, complete ah. light. What, what moments were those? The door. The door. Like he was walking through it. He seemed like he was going to go through it. Ah. And then as soon as... The hook came in. My amygdala. The door yeah. shut. Yeah. And yeah. you think about that. Like your amygdala. Oh. Your amygdala makes a lot of a lot of doors shut in oh. your own life, Jared. I like that. You know, anxiety, the emotions you feel. Yeah. yeah. One of the lyrics uh, that I read in the subtitles was, please let me out. Oh. <sighs> and when you think about him as a delivery driver, I'm assuming that's the... That's the visual that mm. we saw him on the yeah. little, little motorcycle. That sugar came running back to try to let out the oh. sugar. Right? Am I am I wrong about that? I don't know. I didn't catch that at the very end. That last scene. Yeah. When when he couldn't open the door, and then the other sugar's the one trying to get out. Yeah. I assumed he was trying to open that door, unlock. Yeah. Unlock him from, you know that pain wow yeah i feel like this goes much deeper than we could even express yeah um right i think about all of the trauma and experience that sugar has gone through oh my god throughout his entire life right oh. his entire life starting with you know his family issues at a young age his friends his own injuries his mom's heart surgery yeah which he mentioned here but then also we can't forget right this is chapter two of bts mm. right and what they're talking about so far with some of the members like jimin would set me free yeah man you know like release me from these chains that have been around me i am an artist let me be an artist you know, and Sugar and Hegum, you know, talking about some of those things. So I think there are so many potential 
meanings to be made and ways to interpret mm. this song. Yeah, man. Whew. It was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah. Now, when we listen to D Day, you know, one time through the entire the entire way through, we read these lyrics, but not from Dulce. They weren't yes. available back at that time. Yeah. But now they are, and uh, I think we'll we'll gain a, a, a few more insights by reading the lyrics on Dual Set. So let's do that now. All right. So according to Dual Set, Amygdala was produced by El Capitan and written by August D and El Capitan. And the note here reads: In season one of BTS in the Soup, Sugar was seen reading a book titled Almond a fiction about a boy born with his amygdala underdeveloped. Mm. The amygdala is an almond-shaped part of the brain that processes and triggers fear, anger, and anxiety. Okay. We have to get to In the Soup, man. Yeah. So the lyrics begin, I don't know your name. I don't know your name. I don't know your name. How do you feel these days? I don't know your name. A journey through memories. Mm. Memories I want to have erased. How do you feel these days? And then, you know, this is the moment. He says, 1993, the month I was born in, my mom's heart surgery. The note here says, uh, moving on uh, for the first time in my life in my mom's womb, I used to count the days until my first moving. Vague memory, the cost of my moving was a machine in my mom's heart and a big scar. Now, we read up a little bit about this. Um, can you click on moving on? Yeah. Uh, it's from the most beautiful moment in life, ah. young forever. Okay, so this looks like a song uh, with the entire rap line. Mm. Moving on. Okay. Uh, the lyrics continue, there have been all kinds of things. Why did it have to be so eventful? Even those memories I can't really remember. Let's take them all out one by one. Let's take them all out one by one. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, I remember. Surgical. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when we first just quickly read through these lyrics. Memory was a big, big thing yeah. that we learned about. You know, how his memories have maybe burdened him mm. a lot over time, right? Yeah. It's interesting, like just reading these lyrics, the memories seem so clear and vague at the same time. Yeah, and even right here he says, even those memories I can't really remember. Yeah, yeah. Let's take them all out one, one by, by one. one. Huh. All right. You want to take over here? Okay. So he continues. Oh, oh the first best choices and then the second best choices and then the second best to the second best choices 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 mm. yeah and there's a note here that says interlude shadow a song we have heard yep um and i think it's given us lyrics now i know that sometimes running away is the second best do you get it only now that always doing the best is the first best i remember this line and it confounded us ah. back then. But here he's using some sugar intertextuality. Yes. It's only yes. right. As expected. He says, and then the second best to the second best choices. Choices, choices. choices. Yeah. Things that I didn't want to happen. Things that were out of my control. Let's put them all in. One and two. Yeah. One and two. Yeah, one and two. A lot going on there. And then he says, I don't know your name. A journey through memories. I don't know your name. Mm. Let's erase them all. One by one, yeah, one by one. My amygdala. My amygdala. Hurry and save me. Hurry and save me. My amygdala, my amygdala, hurry and get me out, hurry and get me oh, out, right? That desperation, Jordan. 
Hurry, hurry. Time's yeah. ticking. Yeah, I don't right. know how much t more time I have. No. We're talking about the razor yes, being in, right? Yes, yes, We're talking yes. about many, many pills. We're talking Get about- Get me out. That desperation that is so relatable, Jerry, yeah. that we all, yes. most of us have felt at one time or another. Yeah. And what many armies have felt prior to being found by BTS or prior to finding BTS. Right, that moment of desperation, and then a BTS song comes on. Whew. <laughs> Powerful Maya stuff, Maya amygdala. Maya amygdala. Maya amygdala. Maya amygdala. Save me from here. Hurry and get me out quickly. Mm -hmm. And then the lyrics continue. Uh-oh. Or is that uh-oh or uh-uh? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There have been all kinds of things. Uh, uh echoing in my ears was the sound of the clock in my mom's heart. Ooh. Uh, uh the news of my accident that I couldn't tell. That I couldn't tell. That's a weight, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a weight he's got to carry. Yeah. And the news of my father's liver cancer. I learned on a call during a schedule. L look at these three lines right here. Uh -huh. He's giving it to us. Yes. Right? The clock in his mom's heart. Yeah. He, he made reference to her heart surgery up above. Yep. The news of his accident that he couldn't tell. When he says he couldn't tell, how do you interpret that? I interpret that as uh, he's got to continue to move on with his business. He's got to yeah. keep doing what he, what he does, right? Yeah. Who couldn't he tell? That's a great question. Army, maybe. Yeah. Did anybody know about it? That's a good question. Yeah. Maybe the... Bookish Theories video. Helps. Yeah, yeah. And then the news of his father's liver cancer that he learned on a call during a schedule. Yeah. Those are three heavy, heavy things, let alone, Jared, his own personal demons that we learned through other songs that he has battled. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, that's heavy. I can only hope that my best choices were the right ones because they too have all passed. Would it be that all these pains are for me? Mm. The never ending trials fell to kill me. Ah, And once again, I bloom mm. a lotus flower. And the note here reads, D-Day, uh, lyrics uh, from D-Day, because the lotus bloom gloriously even in muddy water. Mm. Ugh. All right, so this line right here, Jordan. This is what I felt just by watching the music video. The never ending trials fell to kill me. And once again, I bloom a lotus flower. I didn't necessarily feel that, that second half, but I felt that first half. The never ending trials fell to kill me, right? I'm going through all of these things, but guess what? I'm still here. I'm still here, you know, even when I may not want to be or may not have wanted to be. Hmm. I wake up the next day and I'm still sitting on that couch. And it's only made him stronger. Yeah. 10 times stronger. And then Sugar continues, he says, oh, oh, the first best choices, and then the second best choices, and then the second best, the second best choices, 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 uh -huh. yeah. Things that I didn't want to happen. Things that were out of my control. Yeah. Let's put them all in. One and two. Yeah, one and two. Yeah, one and two. And then we get the uh, the hook again, man. He, he takes us out with, I don't know your name. A journey through memories. I don't know your I forget how exactly it I don't know your, your name, name, your name, your name. name. Let's erase them all one by one. Yeah, one by one. My amygdala. My amygdala. Hurry and save me. Hurry and save me. My amygdala. My amygdala. Hurry and get me out. Hurry and get me out. My amygdala. My amygdala. My amygdala. My amygdala. Save me from here. Hurry and get me out quickly. And that's where he leaves us.
And that's the image we saw. Yeah. Of the two sugars, Jared. The two August D's, man. Yeah. Trying to help. Yeah. Trying to get out. And the one trying to help yeah. the other get out. At the end of this music video, there is no resolution, correct? No, I right? don't think we had a resolution. No. I think, you know, he's stuck in, in the music video, essentially. Yes. Yes. He's stuck. Yes. Yeah, these, Save me. Yeah. These lyrics are painful to read. The music video is painful to watch. Yeah. Uh, but sugar, Jordan, this is what an artist does, right? You, you capture and take your own personal and lived experience and you create beauty and art that other people can use to help with their own personal and lived experience. 100%. Yeah. And process, because that's all it is. It's just art's a reflection of not only what you're going through, but what millions of other people out there are going yes. through. Yes. Right? So when we listen to these songs and watch these music videos, he's helping more people than he may even realize. 100%. Just to, just to think. Yes. Just to even, even think, okay, have I processed my yeah. past traumas? Like, yeah. are there memories in my past that I don't fully remember or that if I force myself to remember, I can't get out of that loop. Yeah. And even being brave enough to go there. Yeah, man. Right? You, you just don't see many artists talking about these topics or being as vulnerable as Sugar has been throughout his career, particularly in Korea. There you go. Yeah. Jared, let's keep this thing moving, man. Next up, we have the August D Amygdala music video and jacket shoot sketch. And it's a BTS episode. Let's go. Let's check this out, man. See if we get some more information. Army, if you want to check out our extended reaction to Amygdala, you can check that out right now on our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Jared and Jordan BTS. Come watch us react to the music video and jacket shooting sketch, as well as bookish theories explanation video, which was crazy. Yes, sir. And Army, we have one more surprise over on Patreon for all of you. We just reacted to the entire D-Day, the final day three in Seoul concert by Suga slash August D, the two and a half hour concert. It was one of the most bizarre, yeah, pitch perfect cathartic. performances, cathartic, therapeutic, ecstatic, bonkers, bazooka performances, we've, unpredictable we've ever experienced. It was the ride of a lifetime. Um, go check that out now. It's up on our Patreon. Absolutely, everybody. I think we should leave the people with a little snippet. Let's do it. Army. We're going to leave you with a little snippet, so don't click off yet. But thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. But most importantly, be kind. And keep an open mind, everybody. Peace. These guys are crazy. Man, this is nuts. These guys are crazy. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go, let's go. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey.